Hey peeps, it's Jed here from Disrupt Tutoring and as always, it's a pleasure to join you. Today we're going to deal with a number pattern question and I'm going to dive straight in. So they've asked us to write, they've asked us to write down the next two terms of this number sequence. So they've given us a number sequence and it goes 7, 11, 15. So the very first thing we need to check, is there a common difference? That's always the first thing we check when there's a number pattern. And the difference here, so 11 minus 7 gives me 4. And 15 minus 11 also gives me 4. So perfectly, we can see that we've got a common difference. What does that mean? It means the next number is going to be 4 bigger than the previous number. So 15 plus 4 is going to give me 19. And then my very next number is going to be 19 plus 4, which is going to be 23. And that will get you your mark for that question. Nicely done. Now, it gets a little bit more tricky when they start asking us for this general term. What does a general term mean? It just means what is a formula that can help us work out what the term is going to be at any position in the sequence. Okay, so at any position in the sequence, what is the term going to be? That's what a general term is. So we're looking for the nth term. Like, I'm sure you've heard nth term before. That's what it's all about. So, the way to do this. We always start off with this common difference. I want you to write this down every time. 4n. Every time. Done. 4n. Then, in the place of n, I want you to put 1. So, what would this be if n was 1? So, 4 times 1 is 4. Okay? That, when I put a 1 in, I'm speaking about the first term. So, if I put a 1 in here, that's going to give me 4 times 1, which is 4. But we want to get to 7. So, what should I add or subtract to the 4 in order to get to 7. I know I need to add 3. Now before we move on, we need to make sure this works. So let's try it out with the third term. Okay, remember this is the first term, second term, third term. Let's put in a 3. 4 times 3, okay, so this is a 3 now. 4 times 3 is equal to 12, plus 3 gives me 15. So perfect, we know that that is the general term and that's going to be able to give us any term in the sequence. Doesn't matter which number, a million, a billion, a trillion, we'll be able to know exactly what the term in the sequence will be. Now they've said, right, you've got this general term. Now we want you to tell us what the fifth, 50th term will be. Now there's two ways of doing this. We can either back ourselves and know that we've calculated the right term, or we can write this numbered pattern out for 50 terms, but that's going to take us forever. So I'm going to back ourselves and decide that we've done that correctly. So how do we represent this? We're looking for the 50th term. So we represent that as T50 equals 4 times 50. Okay, so N is the 50th term. So we put in 50 plus 3. So that means our 50th term is going to equal 4 times 50. What is 4 times 50? We know that to be 200. Plus 3 gives us 203. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you do that. Nice and simple. This will come up. This will come up. Make sure you know it. It gets a little bit more tricky as you go up into matric, grade 11 matric. So it's really important that you get these basics down now. Really happy to have helped. Hopefully I helped. Let me know if I didn't. Send me a question and I will respond with a personalized video just for you. And then before I go, I'd also love to thank our sponsors who make these videos possible. We've got lots of other videos on our website, so make sure you visit us and spread the love by spreading these epic tutorial videos. Until the next time, stay epic.